Hello my lovely students, welcome back again in second session. In today's videos, we will talk about non-verbal communication. In last lectures, in last videos, we talked about verbal communication and uh, written communication as well as so many other types of communication that is used in your communication skills. But today we will talk about non-verbal communication. It might be long video because in this video I will discuss in detail what is non-verbal communication. You know that non-verbal communication is used so much as compared to verbal communication in our activities. When you talk about communication, then there will be two types of communication, verbal communication, oral communication and non-verbal non communication. But to some extent, verbal communication is used, but most of the time we used non-verbal communication in our daily routine matters because if I am talking with you, then I am using non-verbal communication along with verbal communication because both goes parallel without one other communication is useless. We can't deny the importance of uh, non-verbal communication as compared to verbal communication in our business life as well as in our, practic in our practical life. So let's discuss in detail what is non-verbal communication and its types. You know that most of our conversation happen in non-verbal communication. According to thinkers, according to philosophers, our most of the communication happen in non-verbal ways. If I am talking with you, then I am using hands, I am using mouth, I am using teeth, I am using eyes. So it is kind of non-verbal communication. If I will stand like this, if I will stand like this, then it is uh, useless. It is another kind of confidence. It is, it shows nervousness when I am trying to talk with you. So what we have to do, we have to use non-verbal communication. If you want show yourself you want you will be uh, aggressive in your speaking in your speech then you should use your body language your gestures your facial expression these are the part of non-verbal communication in today lecture we will talk types of non-verbal communication when we talk different perspective in our life if we suppose about uh, traffic rules if you are going on the road then you can see that there are many uh, boards there are many traffic signs exist they show non-verbal cues they show non-verbal communication uh, like uh, you can see that when you are going somewhere so there will be arrow so it is also non-verbal Clues. It is also non-verbal communication. Most of the people can't understand it, but if you will clearly know about what is non-verbal communication, then you can see, you can importance, you can realize the importance of that sign that are hanging on the walls, that are hanging on the roads. So this is a non-verbal cues. This is a non-verbal clues. Through this, you can understand. If driving a car, then you can easily uh, judge, easily realize the importance of that sign. They are hanging on the wall, they are hanging on the roads, they are hanging on different perspectives. So this is a non-verbal communication. If I am doing angerness, then it is show my uh, communication. Like if I am talking with you, if I am smiling, then it show also non-verbal communication if i will stand here if i will show angerness in front of audience in front of you 
then it is also non verbal communication according to all the discussion we conclude that most of our conversation happen in non verbal communication like if i will go if i will excited like this if i will uh, smiling if i will show angerness then it is also non verbal communication because without your facial expression you you look like a uh, ugly you look like a uh, sad so that you are not confident you you are showing nervousness in your body language because of your confidence for the show gaining too much reputation in front of audience when you are delivering any kind of speech then you should use your body language you should use your hands you should use your eyes you should use your finger you should use your thumb finger hand so this is also a sign of non verbal communication if i will use like this then it is also non verbal communication if i will use like this then it is also non verbal communication if i will do this it is also non verbal communication if i will do like this then it is also non verbal communication if i will do like this then it is also non verbal communication these all your body language your gestures your movements all the things shows that it is non verbal communication because without non verbal communication your communication couldn't be completed your communication can be lack your communication can be shortcoming when you are trying to your convey message in front of your audience in front of your class in now let's start there are different types so there are many different types of non verbal communication but i will throw lights on just 8 to 9 types that can help you in your non verbal communication so let's start first one is pronomics second one is proxemics third is aculics uh, fourth one is all factics fifth fifth one is haptics sixth one is kinexis seventh one is chromatics and eighth one is silence so same like this there are many other kinds of non verbal communication but here just we talk about eight these are very important so let's start uh, what, what are the types of non verbal communication so first one is chronomics chronomics means time you know that times play a key role in your communication skills if you will talk someone then definitely time play a key role pivotal role in your conversation because if you have a gap if you have a distance if you have a no sequence in your communication then it will be lackness it will be laziness it will be ugliness and it will be useless so that's why you should consider you should realize the importance of time in your your communication if you want to build confidence if you want to develop good relationship with others then you should keep in mind about time is a key in your communication because if you will waste your time if you will spend your time with the useless activities then it can create hurdles for you it can create complexities it can create difficulties in your life so you should use properly time in your life you should use time according to your situation if you are a student then you should use a uh, time according to your perspective so in non verbal communication times play a very central role so you should consider the time and if you will consider that your all gaps will be filled and there will be no gap in your communication and if you will waste your time you can lose so many moments and second one is proxemics proxemics means silence and space silence and space it is very important in your communication skills when two person sitting together but uh, they have a some kind of gap they are showing angerness with each other so it show that they have a no good relationship with each other so it is also shows that your non verbal communication 
and uh, when we talk about space when i am standing here and all the audience are listening me so there will be a space between them there will be a space between me and other people they are standing or sitting in front of me so it is also show non verbal communication and you should consider it you should realize it and you should keep in mind when you are trying to convey your message when you are trying to deliver your speech when you are giving to your presentation then you should consider the time when you should consider the space sequence and silence it is also important in your communication if you are sitting uh, with someone it show that you have a good relationship with someone if you have a silence on some occasion so it is also show your non verbal communication might be uh, you have some problems might be you have some happiness so that's way you are uh, sitting there and you are showing this kind of attitude uh, in front of your friends in front of your colleagues so you should consider that uh, time is also important for your non verbal communication and sequence time and uh, all the other things are the part of your uh, non verbal communication time sequence and silence these all are the non verbal communication one is aculeus aculeus means uh, it's your facial expression it can be your gaze it can it can be your eye contact like if you are standing somewhere if you are speaking somewhere if you will show your eye contact then it is also type of non verbal communication if your eye contact will not be good it show that you have no such kind of confidence you have no such kind of confidence about your topics about your delivering message about your information that you want to convey to others so it is also a non verbal of communication when you are trying to deliver your message when you are try when you are trying to send a message to anybody and it can uh, help you in your feedback your feedback can be good if your non verbal communication will be good so for the gaining information for building your confidence for boosting your confidence your eye contact should be good if your eye contact should be good it show your confidence it show your fluency in your speaking it show your uh, happiness so sometime uh, your facial expression show that what kind of situation you have what kind what kind of mentality you have what kind of thinking you have what kind of ideas you have you want to deliver so it is also type of non verbal communication for the sake of gaining information about non verbal communication your eye contact should be good uh, you should look your audience in smiling way you should talk with your audience with your friends in smiling way it show that you are in good mood you are in a happy mood and you are so confident about your presentation or your speech that you want to deliver with someone so it is also kind of non verbal communication it shows your happiness it show your angerness it show all the uh, expression that are in your eyes that are in your body language so it is also kind of non verbal communication fourth one is olfactics olfactics means uh, it show that your smell your odor your laziness show that your habits it show your manners it show your like if you are eating something then it show that you are non verbal communication like if you are saying something if you are touching something uh, if you are smelling something then you can easily uh, judge uh, what is it is beautiful it is ugly it is bad it is good so it is also show your non verbal communication because uh, when you are trying to eat something then uh, before going to eating you have to check your food items because maybe it may be some kind of poisons it may be some kind of strange things can happen 
in your food so it's the nature of man when you are trying to eat something when you are trying to take food should uh, check you should smell you should uh, check all the items that are the you are that you are going to eat so it is also non verbal communication because when you are going to eat something then you should it's a nature of man you try to smell you try to touch so all the things are very important in your non verbal communication and fifth one is haptics and another type of non verbal communication is haptics haptics also show a touch means when you are taking something eat something then you also try to check it because it's a nature of man when you are trying to drink a water when you are trying to drink a bottle then uh, first your nose uh, tell you nose shows that reveals that you have to smell it because it may be strange thing it may be ugly thing for you so you should uh, for your checking you should consider it and you should take it because it's also play a key role in your non verbal communication haptic is also plays a key role in your non verbal communication because when you are trying to eat something when you are trying to drink some bottle some so kind of non verbal communication because it's a nature of man because these are the part are working along with you and you have to utilize it in properly might be you are drinking some bottle but it can destroy your stomach so you should check it and it can play a key role in your non verbal communication it's also kind of non verbal communication because it is automatically involved in your body language in your body expression in your body movement so it is also type of non verbal communication and sixth type of non verbal communication is kinexis it is your body movement it's your uh, movement of your all parts like uh, if you are using fingers if you are using your hand and when you are trying to convey your message when you are trying to talk someone then uh, if you try to do like this if you will try to uh, do like this then it is also it it is also bad habit you should avoid this you shouldn't do this when you are trying to convey your message when you are trying to deliver your message then you shouldn't do this uh, you shouldn't do all the irrelevant activities that is useless that show that you are not educated person you are not uh, literary man you have uh, no such kind of abilities to show yourself so it is also kind of non verbal communication it, your all body expression your movements all the things shows that uh, you are abilities your qualities your uh, education all the things can matter you are trying to deliver your message to anybody so it is also non verbal communication because if you will not use your hand your finger your thumb your eyes and your body uh expression your body movements then it is uh, not uh, like a, a non verbal communication but if you will use properly if you will use properly gestures in your conversation then it show your confidence it show your um literacy it show your knowledge it show your information and it show that you are fully confident about your speech about your message you want to deliver someone so it is also kind of non verbal communication you you should consider that uh, about your body language when you are trying to deliver message when you are trying to deliver your message to someone if you are going to deliver your speech then you should uh, care about you should keep in mind about your body language about your gestures about your body movement so these are the part of your non verbal communication the main type of non verbal communication is uh, para language para language means uh, it's your body movements uh, it's your sound it's your voice and it's your it show your communication if your communication will be good you can confidently convey your message to someone and uh, ninth one is your appearance your appearance shows your confidence 
if your appearance will be good if your appearance will be in a properly manner then you are you are showing you are fully confident about your speech about your message about your delivering uh, some kind of topic to anybody so you should consider that you should uh, take into consideration when you are trying to deliver message to someone you should be realize about the importance of appearance your appearance show that what kind of abilities you have what kind of confidence you have and what kind of knowledge you have and your facial expression uh, your body your hands shows that your personality because personality plays a key role in your communication in your non verbal communication if you will not properly set yourself if you uh, your dress your tie uh, all the things uh, if you will not check it if you will not consider it then it shows that you are not a fully confident it shows your nervousness so so when you are trying to deliver your message when you are going to deliver a speech then you should realize the importance of uh, your appearance appearance plays a central role in your non verbal communication and last one is silence silence is also show your communication sometime you are not speaking uh, you are not uttering some kind of words it doesn't means you are not uh, communicating to someone it shows that you are uh, delivering your message you are showing it show that you are delivering your message you are sitting in the company of somebody you are sitting uh, in the gathering of your friends you are you are showing your silence it doesn't mean you show your anger you show your happiness sometime other person are speaking you are listening so it is also show your non verbal communication because silence also uh, play a key role in your non verbal communication so according to the all discussion we conclude that to sum up all the discussion so all the points we discuss in this video that are helpful in your non verbal communication because if your non verbal communication will be good it show your confidence it show your abilities it show your education it show your uh, authenticity in front of audience if you are speaking somewhere if you are delivering your message in front of audience in front of class and uh, you are using your facial expression you are using your body language you are using your hands properly you are using your finger properly you are using your eye contact properly it show that you are fully confident about your speech you are fully confident about your presentation so you should keep in mind uh, non verbal communication is much important as compared to verbal communication but both of the communications goes parallel and you should consider both of the communication in your life if you will not if you will set one communication one side and set another communication to other side then it will be difficult for you to convey your message so the person that are the part of our business all the students they are studying somewhere you should consider about the importance of non verbal communication because without non verbal communication you can't convey your message exactly to anybody